What is up YouTube? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. What we're doing today, stealing this AFR gauge out of my Bug Eye WRX, that gauge there, and we're gonna be installing it into my Evo 8. As you guys know, this thing's pretty much ready for tune. We got the intercooler on the other day. All we need is to throw the intake on, get speed density set up, and then get my cat back exhaust built, and we should be ready for tune. One major thing you always want to have on a car, like especially a high performance car like this Evo right here, or the Evo back there is an AFR gauge. You always wanna be mon monitoring your air fuel ratio. That's one of the main reasons why cars will blow up all the time. Running too lean, pop freaking a piston or yeah, you can melt down your motor running too lean. So this car currently has gauges in it. It's got like, what brand are they? Glow shift or something? I'm pretty sure they're glow shift gauges. The boost gauge works, the oil pressure does not, and the AFR does not. And I don't really trust uh, a glow shift AFR anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get that oil pressure to work. I'm gonna leave the glow shift boost gauge in here because boost is not that like, I mean, it's important, but not as important as AFRs. So I'm not gonna spend the money on an AEM boost gauge. It is very important to have a good AFR gauge though. So that's why I'm stealing the AEM out of the WRX, throwing it in the Evo 8. If you guys don't have a WRX to steal uh, AEM AFR gauge out of, I'll have one linked down in the description box below, the same exact one that I use in both evos so of course the first thing we need to do is get the afr gauge out of the wrx we got everything out of the car so we have the gauge we have the sensor all the wiring in the car also had it, the usb to serial cable which we will need for data logging when we tune the car so i'll kind of show you guys how to go about hooking that up to the gauge as well. I'm gonna pull the WRX out and get the Evo 8 into the shop. All right, we got the Evo in the shop. Here is everything for the gauge. I have my box from my AFR gauge that's in the Evo 10, just to figure out the wiring situation. So on this harness right here, we have four wires. I believe we're only connecting three of the three of the four wires. The black is a ground, the red is power. This blue wire is for the data logging, so that goes to the stereo to USB cable that we use for data logging. And then the white wire, I don't think we're using the white wire whatsoever. But the first thing we're gonna do, take my AFR gauge sensor, this guy right here, and we're gonna be threading this into the downpipe. There's already a bung in the downpipe on this car that's wide open, so I'm gonna be using that right there. For the sensor routing, I'm just gonna run it on the top side of this right here, and then go straight up through there to the wire that's gonna connect to the to the gauge. So I'm just gonna zip tie the wire onto this crossbar right here, just so the wire doesn't fall down, drag on the ground, and get all ripped up. All right, we got that sensor ran. Now we need to get some wiring for this gauge ran. I already pulled out my old AFR gauge itself, and there's probably gonna be some wiring for that we can just tap into, which will make this super easy. So I have this wiring plug in right here coming off the old gauge. This probably doesn't help you guys out at all. All I'm gonna do though, just to make this easy on my end, is just cut this wiring connector off, use the red and black from that, which should be power ground, and connect it to my new AEM gauge. And then I'm just gonna take a extender wire and run from the blue wire all the way to the glove box for the serial to USB. If you guys don't already have gauges in your car like I do, which makes everything super simple, you can either tap into the radio for some power. There's a, should be a fuse box under there somewhere. There's gonna be so many places you can get power from. Cigarette lighter as well. There's so many different places you can pull power from. So it's not a big deal. So when I turn on the car right now, that gauge should be powering up. Yep, we are. It's not hooked up to anything, so it's just gonna read 14.7 until I hook up that sensor. But we got power, that's a good start. So what I'm doing now, I have this long black wire. I'm gonna run it from the blue wire on the AEM gauge harness. And we have to get that wire to wherever we want the serial cable to come out at so for the USB. And I like mine in the glove box, it just kind of stays hidden. So I have to figure out how to run that all the way down underneath, behind the radio and into the glove box. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Now 
as of right now, all of the wiring should be ran. We got the blue wire extended to the black wire that runs all the way through the glove box. That should all be good to go. We got the power, we got the ground. Very last thing to do is run this super long harness that goes from the AFR sensor on the downpipe all the way to the gauge. So we're gonna have to figure out where to run this through the firewall lot. So whoever had this car before me already drilled a hole for the rest of the wiring right through the firewall. So I'm just gonna run my wiring right through there. Other people online are saying there's a rubber plug on that side you can run through, or you can go through the rubber grommet going through the fender to run the AFR wiring. But I'm just gonna go through the hole. There's already one right there. Makes it super simple. Got it. I have that wiring ran from the firewall on the back side of this. Pull that out of the top here. Now we just need to plug it into the back of the gauge and then plug it into the sensor as well. And we can start the car up, see if it, see if the sensor is reading properly. We got it plugged in there. I'll run all that, make it look nice later on. But for now, I just want to make sure it's going to read properly. All right, dudes, we got the gauge in. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. If it'll start, make sure it's reading correctly. Yeah, it's working. Holy shit, this thing runs rich at idle. Needs a tune. ASAP. Last thing to do, my homies. We are going to hook up this serial to USB cable. So we got two wires here. Pin two on this serial cable goes to the blue wire on the AEM gauge, on the AEM wideband. And then pin five is a ground. So I believe on this particular serial to USB, the yellow wire is going to the blue wire on the gauge. The green wire is going to go to ground. Of course, if that doesn't work, I'll flip the wires around and it'll work. But that's how that's done. I am going to bring this over here. I guess we need this as well. We have this long ass wire coming through here. I'm going to shorten that up and connect it to the yellow wire on the serial to USB. And like I said, the green wire is going to go to a ground, which I will put, let's see. Oh, wow. Oops. Oops. I could probably just ground that. Honestly, I'll probably just ground it right up there on that 10 millimeter bolt. We got those two wires connected to the serial. One wire goes to the gauge, to the blue wire on the gauge. The other one is grounded right back there. Now, every time we want to data log the car, plug this wire in to that end right there, just like that. The other end is a USB. That's going to plug into your laptop. Now we can officially data log the car with the AFR gauge reading. So that'll be super nice for when you go to tune this car, which is going to be e-tuned. That's it. We're done. Gauge install, AEM wideband gauge install is done with the serial to USB. One last thing I'm gonna do is go on a little drive in the Evo and see what my AFRs are under a little bit of boost and just cruising around, make sure it's actually safe to drive because I do need to go get exhaust made for this car. I just wanna make sure I'm not gonna blow this thing up on the way to the exhaust shop. As you guys can see, this thing is running full rich under just a little bit of boost, under a little bit of load. It should be around like 11.1, 11.2 on the AFR gauge and it just maxes it out at 10.0 full rich. So being rich, actually it's better than being lean. When you're lean, you can definitely mount down a motor. When you're rich, it's just gonna completely run like shit. I mean, it's not good to be either, but it's better to be rich than it is to be lean. I'm gonna go ahead, wrap the video right here. Hope it helped you out. I know it's kind of rushed feeling and there's a few things I could have kind of touched on better, I feel like, but I was just kind of in a hurry to get the gauge on. I have to get exhaust made for the car. That's a different video for another day though. You guys already know. We are, go we are going straight pipe on that thing. It's gonna be in insanely loud guys that should be the next video honestly i will have this exact aem afr gauge linked down in the description box below and if you do plan on ever e-tuning your car or need to data log it for any reason you do need that serial to usb cable so i'm gonna go ahead and throw one of those serial to usb cables down in the description box as well thank you guys for watching if you have any questions at all regarding the afr gauge install or the serial to usb connections drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you if I don't know the answer. I guarantee you one of the other homies in the comment section below will know the answer. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.